It's the time for mm, Pick It From China. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Super Mini U-Box Mega Drive or MD Full HD. And I've reviewed a couple of these plug and play devices, <coughs> like a gazillion of these things. And I never understand why they bring, they just brought out a 16-bit edition and finally did it. So in this video, we're going to take a close look at it just to see how good is the quality. Are these controllers okay? Or is it all like big crap? Okay, so let's get a close look. So they're just using plastic bags now. So we're going to get two controllers in this kit. So the first impression is like, this thing is quite heavy. Like, wow, this feels kind of nice. It feels like an actually good controller. Very important, the smell test. Hmm, it smells quite nice. So in overall, like, that is the first good impression. Over here, we're going to need one AAA battery. Then here at the bottom we're going to get the switch for player 1 and player 2, everything that we're going to need. So I'm curious how these things will play. So in here we're going to get the USB to the micro USB and basically this thing, yeah you can use it on your television, so plug it in in free USB port or you need to get yourself a 5 volt charger and then it, this tiny tiny dongle, this is actually the game system. So yeah actually this is, that's it, like you plug it in. You basically plug in your micro USB and you're done. So you can play your games. So that's quite interesting piece of technology. The Nupsup is a brand that I have reviewed before when it comes to handhelds. So a quick explanation how everything works. So let's take a close look at this tiny, tiny, mini, eeny, peeny instruction manual. So here it says like what you need to do, but there is nothing stating that you can basically add games to it. So that is always a question that with these devices, we do have a CF card in here. It doesn't even say how much it is like in Blanco. Oh boy. But the, let's say they like 16 big games. So I'm guessing this thing will be like not even in one gigabyte. But let's take a close look at it because there is one thing I wanted to try out. All right, so we can add games to the stick itself. I just wanted to show you briefly here in this video. So you're going to get different folders also when we're going to check the menu. It basically like shows exactly the same amount of different platforms that you can add your games to. It even has support for Sega Master System or basically there are like some options to boot up the files. But they are placed in ROM. So I'm curious maybe later on we can see if we can add some more kind of games. What is this stick capable of? Is it the same stick that they're going to resell or is it just only a couple of emulators on this? Nevertheless, you can add games, just wanted to show you. Just plug and play and drag and drop. Okay, so let's plug out my HDMI cable. And what I find always annoying about these dongles normally, that we can't plug it in. But it seems to be like the fix dish issue. So we can just plug it in, but if it's deep enough, that was we're going to find out later on. Otherwise, we need to use an extender. Yeah, it's not very thick, but the problem is with this particular monitor. You're having like an in-depth HDMI connection and sometimes these things are so thick that it will cover up an other HDMI port. So and overall these things are not superb. But how do you connect it? Very simple. We'll plug in here the service port but it will give me 5 volts that we're going to need for the dongle. We're going to plug in the micro USB over here. And the first attempt will be like plugging it straight into the television. Let's see if it's deep enough and if it's going to work like this. So the only thing that I need to do now is plug in my cable of the monitor and that's it. Like, that's the only thing that you need to do. Power on the system. If everything has been set to HDMI, it will automatically boot up the dongle itself and that's it. And there is nothing. So that means it doesn't connect because of the in-depth HDMI port. I need to get myself the freaking extension cable. All right, let's power it off. And let's pull that out. So I did it, oh, such a bummer, but there's more particular problem with my monitor over here. But I just wanted to show you that not everything goes like planned. So let's plug in the extender. Yeah, 
what's the use of this thing if we can't plug it in but okay let's power it on again and let's see if this thing works okay guys so it has been booted up so that works now and yeah if you don't have an in-depth hdmi port it will work just fine for you but when booting up this is what we're going to get we're going to get a fancy menu and i'm curious what kind of stuff we're going to find on this and how it actually going to emulate because that emulation problem i have seen before with cheap device like this Okay guys, so let's take a close look at this product and the menu, because this menu has a lot of interesting things. I really like this Android lookalike, it has nothing to do with 16-bit whatsoever, but when you're booting up, let's say, the shooting games, then we're going to get all the shooting games, and if they did a good job when it comes to categorizing this, I don't know to be honest, it's always like the question, but they got a very nice thumbnail, let's choose fighting, it seems to be like they added a lot of fighting games, I don't know if Beavis and Bottle is a fighting game actually, but it's quite interesting to see how everything works. Here we can go into the folder itself, so basically you can boot up a game. So when it comes to the way how they added all of these games to a certain category, it looks kind of nice, especially when it comes to the thumbnail, stuff like that. But there was another thing I wanted to show you, which was quite interesting. But when pressing select and start in the game, we're going to get finally the option that I've been waiting for. So the quick load, quick save, we have seen it before. We're even going to get five slots for each game. So that's interesting. But here we're going to even have the option to have a full screen white. And then we're going to get scaling up. In other words, it's 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So then we're even having the options to change out the region if you're having like different files on it. So this thing basically has everything that I always like wished for because beginning of the review session with all this plug and play, we always was missing, even with the game system, the skill option and we didn't have stuff like this. So they're trying to improve it. It's quite fascinating to see. This sounds good, this sounds good. So fun fact, the first time I booted it up, it went completely turbo mode. So what we need to do, I want to show you what I mean with that. So the region switch does work. So it has been set to PAL, seems to be. Let's put it on NTSC. See, nothing works anymore. So you just need to reboot the game again. And that we're going to do. Let's reboot again. So that was an issue what I had with multi-game cards back in the day. And the reason is like, we don't have the region on the right settings in combination with the file that you're basically using. But you can fix it. Where we go is basically going to the system settings and putting it back on the region that it's supposed to be. Ow. And I can say, like, this D-pad works perfectly. Need to get used to it, so it's more like a personal handicap. Also, the music itself sounds great. And the reason I'm saying, like, I can't dream this soundtrack. I listen to this even in my freaking car. Yep, perfectly. I'm getting my ass kicked again. Absolutely. And the fun fact is like, it also recognizes the sick button controller layout, so also that works fine. Alright guys, so let's do a quick teardown when it comes to the device. So the overall performance, I am very, very surprised with this. So the only thing I can do, there are no screws whatsoever. I'm going to get my toolkit. Let's get myself a tiny, 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 tiny screwdriver so I can pry the plastics off. So that is the thing that we only thing that we can do at this moment. And just like finding a way to click it open because that's the way how it needs to go. Normally I will have a prior tool, but <laughs> the prior tool I'm using at the moment 
is too big for this. So this is the only thing that we're going to get and it's a quite interesting thing. So over here we're going to get the communication for the wireless controllers. Ah oh, man, oh, they send off the information of the chip so I have no idea like what they're using. But I find it just super fascinating. Stuff like this fascinates me like how tiny the technology is becoming and like what you can do with it. Wireless connectivity for the controllers. Yeah, I don't know what kind of chip, but yeah, it don't need to be very powerful for 16-bit. But it runs kind of a weird Android lookalike and the operating system. Though it says here U-Box 001 version 6. So there is not a lot of information on this. So let's put this back together. Then there is not cool, not any cooling. No. But I'm not afraid to say that they basically nailed it this time. There was always something that we can find that a little bit nitpicky about it. But then overall, when you're looking at it, so I was fascinated to see that we're actually having a lot of great options. Quick load, quick save. We can just have the option to change out the XPS ratio with the NX engine or this plug and play Genesis machine. And the other thing I really love about this are the controllers. The controllers play amazing. Like they're getting really close to the authentic Sega controllers from back in the day. The switch is super convenient. You just want to grab one for player one and player two. But an overall like it only works on one battery. Also a very positive thing. The D-pad works perfectly. I must say I'm very, very satisfied with this. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, become a new wicked family, and we'll see you in the next video.